Hey guys, welcome back to Emerald's Fishing Channel. Today I have something different for you guys. Something that I've been wanting to do for a while and finally I have the chance to do it. So this here, what I have here is the, drum roll please, the Go Plus fishing tube. Um, it's used for fishing in the water. It's pretty much an, an inflatable boat, uh, individual boat. I'm pretty sure if you guys are watching this video, you guys are you guys know what it is pretty much so just so you guys know it is this one here and i've got it for 150 dollars i didn't get it on sale uh, it was on sale at one point but i got it for for retail and yeah so i'm gonna start with the unboxing uh, i'm gonna make this semi quick so if i open it here and be careful because this does have inflatable parts to it so you can puncture it so Go slow. Let's start here. Here. And the top part, you gotta be careful. Just lightly go over it. Alrighty. So here is the first box opening. Boom, chakalaka. Let's see what it has inside. So the one I got does come with a pump. This pump is actually pretty big. Um, in the pictures, it looks pretty small, but it's actually pretty big. If I can get it open, I'll show you guys. Right here. There you go. Plastic one means zero. All right. Let's see. I'll tell you guys the quality of it and, and how it is too. So you guys aren't thinking and guessing how it is. All right. We'll put that here. So. First impression, it's actually pretty sturdy. <laughs> so it does have an in and an out. It blows in, blows out. So the one that I have, I have one for my pool, for my, my kid's pool, and it does blow in from both sides for some reason. It has like another nozzle down here. But this one, it's pretty, pretty good, I mean, it's, you know, It'll do. And I will also blow it up with it so you guys can see that too. But so far, it comes with a little piece of hair. Look at this. Ugh. It came with a, a woman's hair in it. That's weird. Okay, so there's one, one weird thing about it. <laughs> it happens though. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down. Okay, next we have the, the oar. It comes with an oar. It's a one-sided oar. Yeah, I think it's an oar. It's a paddle. I think an oar is double-sided. I'm not sure. Uh, you guys can comment on the, in the comment section and tell me if I'm wrong or right. So I got my trusty Caesar here. Not so trusty if you ask me. They're pretty dull. Now let's see if I open this. Alrighty. So it does come. Can you put double? I think you can put double. Oh no, that's the middle of it. Okay, so remember, read the instructions. So, I'm guessing it goes in here. You twist it on to tighten it. Other one, pretty simple, goes in there as well, other side. And I'm guessing you can have it shorter if you want it shorter, or longer if you want it longer. That's why it has two sides. I would want it long. And then this other side, they, so they come with these like screw, screw locks. So pretty much to lock it or to tighten it, you just tighten it and it compresses. It's a compression lock. Put it in there. It's a little hard. Uh oh, yeah, that's not good. There you go. It's kind of tough to put in the first time. That's what she said. Um, so you go like this, tighten it. You want it tight because you don't want to be out in the in the lake or your river or wherever you're at and it comes off and you're like you're like you're stuck now, right? So be careful. Make sure it's tight, not too tight. Don't don't break it because if you break it, you buy it. I guess you already bought it. So if you bought it, you break it. Break it, you buy it, and you buy it. You have it. There you go. Just don't break it. So this is actually not bad, honestly. I mean. It's, I, I'm gonna honestly I'm gonna buy a double-sided one 
because to me it's easier just rolling like this and like I don't know to me it's easier rolling double sided and so next is going to be the paddles your fins it does come with fins it comes with fins I, I uh, don't know how well these will work um, I also just letting you guys know I will be taking this out on the lake and doing a part two to this on the water so but for now I'm just kind of thinking of how it would be and um, it seems a little not I don't want to say well made because I know it's like a lower quality you're paying $150 for, for the whole set you know it's, 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 these pontoons or these uh, fishing floats go for 300 to 800 dollars at Bass Pro Shop so you know you gotta keep in mind you're not gonna get the highest of quality but so far I mean this seems okay when, when I take these out in the water then I, I can decide how these are but so far these seem okay okay they just have these so how you tighten them tighten them have these clips I'm guessing you put your foot here and then you clip it like so clippity clippity clap clap clip it and then I'm guessing you just tighten it to whatever tightness you want on your foot right so it'll be grabbing your foot so I don't know if that'll hurt my foot eventually if I'm gonna be barefoot or I can put some water shoes on but I think if I'm barefoot or if you're barefoot I think this will end up hurting you um, eventually you know over time it'll be rubbing and hitting your ankle or something and they're pretty big. Look at the size of them. This is my head. I have a pretty small head either way. But these are pretty big. Okay, on to the next one. Alright, let's get into the good stuff. Oh, okay, so this oh, this oh, this is gonna be the going to be the floats, the inflatable floats that are going to go into your actual hole, I should say, your hole, H-U-L-L, -L, hole, so your boat pretty much. So it comes with these, I have to read on these because I have no idea what these are for, but I will let you guys know right now. Looks like we get some patches with it, a green patch and a red patch. I wish they would send more patches though, it looks like it's just two of them. Yeah, so they just sent two patches. And uh, I have to read on to see if these are sticky or they just stick on or you have to put something on there. But yeah, so far it just comes with two patches. And they're about two inch, two inch circles. So the diameter is two inches. Not too bad. Probably for like if you get your hook stuck in it or something. Okay, so it comes with this red one, which I'm guessing this is going to be for the seat. It's going to go where you sit on. Not bad, actually. And I'm guessing this is the other part of the seat, because it's not so heavy. Yeah, yeah. It's the other part. Oh, it comes with... So, okay, so I remember seeing this. So these seats do come with the blow up, mouth blow, um, oh, oh man, it's hard. Mouth blow inflated seats. Good luck with that. Um, I don't think, actually, you know what? I think these do fit in there. Yeah, it does. So these do fit in there. The only thing is you might have to press it down because these are the compressing ones where you press it and so the blow can go in so the blow can go in so the air can go in <laughs> you put it in press it pump it done I have this red and green this is kind of like a dark orange actually no it's like a bright red anyways so these are the actual pontoons the actual inflatables that go on the sides these are pretty big I stand up. Yeah, up to my head. Up to my head. Okay. 
So it comes with two of them, a red one and a green one. And I will be blowing these up, so don't worry. I know you guys are just seeing a little bit right now, but you'll see them blown up right now. Don't trick chocolate chip. And here's the green one. Same thing, just for the other side. Alrighty, so we've got that. Now, moment of truth. Boom. Let's do this. And here is your actual. Oh wait, there's one more thing. For that, we have these uh, nunchucks. I'm just kidding, they're not nunchucks. We'll see what they're for right now. But there's two of them. And it does come with your trusty instruction manual. Okay, bibidi bibidi bobbidi, assemble and use, bibidi bobbidi bobbidi, konnichiwa. Alright, so it's just one page in English. The rest of them is in, uh, it's like Russian or some type of, or, uh, some other language. Anyways, the structures seem pretty simple. Let's put this away. Okay, you can have the box. All yours. Alrighty. So, let's bring this out. Wow, okay, first of all, let me just say the material of this feels really nice. Like, when you feel this stuff, which feels okay, but you, you, you would think that the actual hole or like the material of this would be like not that great. But honestly, honestly, this is really nice. I was not expecting, expecting it to feel this, this rough, which is pretty good, which is good. It's good having it heavier duty. Just in case, you know, you run into branches, you run into like other stuff on the on the lake. You know, the, if you bring a fish in and it hits the side of your boat, it won't puncture it. This seems pretty legit, pretty good. Let's open it up, and so you guys can see everything. So here is the net part of your your little float tube. Pretty basic. It comes with Velcro on the sides, so you can stick it onto your actual boat. And I'm guessing it comes with, oh, there you go. okay. Looks like there's some clips here, so you can clip them. You know what? I think I figured it out myself. That's what these are for. So, actually let's read the instructions before I mess anything up. So first it says to put your pump in on the ground, flatten. So flatten your pontoon. It's pretty flat to me. Okay. So next you're gonna get your inflatables, your bladders, and it will have zippers on the side here. So these have zippers here on the side. I think it's to see them. Where you're gonna put your bladders. So here we go. Open both of them up. So this here, it has a screw lock and it has some gaskets right there so the water won't, I'm guessing, get in. So you close this, twist that all the way. And then this is your actual, your other lock, the, the other the cap to close it. And this has a gasket in it too. Very noisy. It is very noisy. thing is crying. Okay, so I got everything. Both of them blown up about 30% of the way. Maybe this one a little more because I switched over to mine. This one's cool, it's good, it'll, it'll do the job, but it's a little slow. Um, it just blows in one way when you pump it down, it blows, it inflates. So I got mine that I got from my, my kid's pool. See how this one's closer to the left side here? So you have to match it with the actual, with the actual uh, 
material float thingy in my bomb. So this was more on the left side, this was more on the right side. So just common sense, you just line it up. This one goes here, and one goes on the right side. Ta-da! Whew! That was, that was something. So these are pretty hard to put in. I'm not gonna lie. They are hard to line up and to actually like move. Do it on carpet, okay? Just do it on carpet because I have hardwood floor. And when you try to slide it in, it just slides the whole thing. But I am gonna say this. Do not inflate it 30% of the way. Do not. <laughs> I had to let the air go on this one because it's just, you were trying to push it in and the air would like block you on this side. And if you try to put it in this side, the air will go on this side and it'll block it on the other side. So I got them in flat. This one, I, luckily I was able to get in with a little bit of air, but this one I had to take all the air out. Okay, so honestly, just put put the sleeve, put the bladders in there and line up the actual knobs together in the holes and just pump it up. Put it in there and pump it up. It'll sort itself in there. Kind of like get it generally in there, but you don't have to like worry about any of like the, other, the wrinkles or anything. Just pump it up and it'll sort itself in there. All right, so here is a comparison on how tall it is, how big it is. I'm gonna lay in it. And I'm gonna go to sleep for a little bit. It's pretty big. It's pretty spacious, honestly. Really spacious. We'll see. Now, on to the next part. These part, this part, <laughs> you got to blow it up by mouth. So once I blow these up, I'll be back. Alright, and here you have it guys. So far, here's your backrest. Here's your seat. Pretty sturdy. Here is your left side, your right side. And this is where those two poles are gonna go, the white ones, for your neck. Let's put that on now. Comes with the coupling on one side, other side's flat. Put that in there. Don't worry, you don't need any PVC glue or some glue or anything. Put that in there. And then stick it. Okay, so one side is closed. And one side is open. Get the Velcro. You don't want to put it in there, all the way in. Velcro it. I don't think it matters what side the point is facing. Actually, I think it does. Face, face the opening down. So see how this one, like this, we don't want to paint, point these down. So the other side is down already. No, this one I'm just putting it down. This one here, just putting it down. Gonna slide it in as far as you can. Careful, don't hurt yourself. Velcro it, close it. Boom. And this is gonna go on here, one side here, all the way in. Other side. And these clips here, I don't know if you guys can see them. There's these clips here. You're gonna wanna clip those in. In, in, and then just here, tighten them the as much as you can. And there's a clip here where you clip it in. Other side too.
comes with a divider. I don't know if you guys can see that here. In the middle, there's a divider here. So here, it fits my hand. You know, I can fit quite a few stuff in there. Maybe some tackle boxes in there. Um, it comes with one there. It comes with one on this side as well. Same deal. Oh, what's this? Huh. I have to see what this is for. But it comes with a pocket on this side. This one's actually a little bigger than the other side. And it comes with... Let's see if you guys can see it better. It's kind of low light. It's kind of dark in there. But it's a pretty good, you know, amount of size. Pretty good size in there. You can put some tackle, your tackle boxes, some tackle, maybe some sodas, put some ice packs in there. On the other one, you can put your phone, your whatever you need. Just make sure it's, you know, water, you know, resistant. And if not, get a case for it. Um, but yeah, so it comes with these horizontal rod holders. So you would pretty much... Here, let me put this here. So you would pretty much open these velcros up. Like so. And when you're, you're when you're going different places, you know, moving spots. You can do this. And this. And you could velcro it down. I don't know how well this would work, but Velcro, Velcro. So when you're going somewhere, put it in the Velcro. You could either paddle with your feet or with, with your oar or your paddle. And yeah, it's, it'll stay on there. It's pretty sturdy. So that's what that's for. Also, So these on the side here, I guess you can put your, your fishing rods here if you want them on the side too. Because with the, also the Velcro ones here on this side. Velcro here. So you can put either your fishing rod if you want your fishing rods on the side. I wouldn't trust it on the side. Because you'll probably be rowing, you'll hit it and it'll probably fall off. But these are for your oars or your, your paddles. You can put them here. There's one on each side. The other side's the same as this side. That one here. That one here. Velcro it. Boom, done. Okay. So, what else? What else? What else? Also, if you guys want me to explain more or show something else on it, let me know in the comments. I will make another video and I will specify that thing that you guys want me to specify. There's no problem with that. Okay, so, yeah, there it is. Oh. We're getting this clip here there's a clip in the bottom of your legs of your where you sit down and that's the clip onto this net and that's kind of like a support for your legs you know it pretty much separates your legs and it supports your bottom here so it won't like you know drag down which is pretty cool okay so now we can do the test and then after after we do the test i'll put the backpack straps on and i'll show you guys what it looks like with the backpack straps on so, gonna get in. Whoa! Obviously, I'm not in the water. So, oh my God, this is nice. Wow. Okay, I could. Oh, nice. So, see, if I tighten it, I tighten it like half half of the way, because I don't want it up so much. But if I lean back, I think I would be comfortable, honestly. I think I would be comfortable. Unless I want to like really lay back, then maybe not. But sitting up, comfortable. You now get your your rod. Once you get there, you, know, you can close this up. This will be closed. Obviously, you're going to be in the water. So my legs are going to be down. And right now, it looks like I'm like pushed up against this. But it's just because I'm not in the water. Once I get in the water, it should be pushed down and I will have more space here. So go get your ding. Boom. Fish. Bring it in. Bring it in. Get your fish. You guys can reach down here. You guys can reach here. 
it's easily accessible to reach around the sides and this feels pretty sturdy and nothing will get in your way put your rod down get your fish in put your fish here pet it you know talk dirty to it whatever you whatever you do with the fish that's on you you know I, I like to talk to it a little bit you know give it a little motivational speech but that's just me put it on here measure it you know you're gonna have your GoPro here whatever you guys are gonna do and yeah this is this is pretty cool this is really good I uh, I'm excited to take it out and I'm excited period put your fish here get it unhook it bye buddy give it a little kiss and send it on its way home with this family Unless you guys fish to eat it, that's up to you. It's on you guys. I like to catch and release. Um, but, you know, once in, once in a while, if I do want to eat fish, I'll keep it. If it's the right size. Obviously. So. Yeah. So. I, I like it. Honestly, my, 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 what I'm thinking about it right now, not in the water, but right now how it is. I have space. It's not, it's not cramped. It's not, I'm, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm not that big, but I'm not skinny either, I would say. So I, I feel very comfortable on here. And if anything, you know, get, bring a hat, bring like an umbrella, maybe put some PVC here or something, stick it up, put an umbrella and take a nap on the lake. Just go wherever you guys want to go. Anyways, this is really nice. That's, that's what I gotta say about it. It's really nice what you pay for $150. It is, it's great. It's awesome. Hopefully I can catch some fish on this. But let me show you guys the backpack strap now. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. So, time to set up the backpack strap. Turn it around, turn it around, turn it around, turn the beat around. Backpack straps. Pretty simple, common sense, very easy to install. They're just like these little clips here, little hook, hook clips. Other side, same thing. Clip one side in to here. Other side into here. Obviously, you want to keep them straight. Other side here. Other side here. All right, let's try it on. So you would tighten these up a little bit more. And boom, there you have it. You might you might be able to, you know, do it a little tighter unless I have it the wrong way. But so far this will be Pretty good to, to walk with it. You know, carry a fishing pole, walk, you know, wherever you're going, backpack it. And take it off. And there you have it folks. Your Go Plus fishing float tube. $150 gets you the pump, paddles. Got to figure out what these things are for. Um, two patches. Your oar. One heavy duty oar. And your pump. And your flow tube. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys have any questions or want me to cover something else on it, 
Anything specific you guys want to know about, please put it in the comments. I will get back to you guys as soon as I can, and I will post a video on the things that you want me to post a video on. So I will see you out there on the lake for part two. Might take it off the Silver Bowl Lake sometime this week and try out the new reel, new rod, and the new baits and everything so you guys can see how it works on the, on the water. So this is my honest review on GoPlus Fishing Float Tube. See you guys later and see you next time.